You're listening to Procurement 6, the weekly podcast from the team at Art of Procurement that summarizes this week in procurement in just six short segments. Hi there, I'm Helen McKenzie, and today is Friday, September the 22nd, 2023. Six. Here at Art of Procurement, we're all about being proactive when it comes to implementing and getting the most of new ProcureTech. But one of the biggest challenges we've found from leaders in our community who've implemented new tech is how to really make sure key decision makers and business users understand the purpose behind adopting the solution that's been selected. Now, if you're considering implementing new tech, that's going to be a challenge for you. My tip for you this week is to join us at our next AOP webinar. It's on September the 26th and we're going to be in conversation with Procuro's Serge Trifon on this and seven other topics that are essential best practices in implementing new tech. Sign up now using the link in the show notes. Five. In this week's podcast, Philip Ideson talks to officios Ben Lambert about adopting a challenger attitude in complex spend categories. The section I've chosen for you really brings this challenger concept to life. Let's take a listen. There's two things. There's something about what procurement, how procurement can be partnering. Mm -hmm. And there's something about the kind of opportunities that you can take. So maybe to speak first about the kind of opportunities, there's often something going on, some kind of, as I said, some kind of innovation, a market change, a new regulation, a new piece of tech or a new, you know, AI. How is AI going to change content generation for a magazine company? Mm -hmm. Hugely, probably, many of them. Many of them have been caught out already. So they're trying to think through all of those things. If procurement can bring an interesting market perspective, connect them with somebody, then there's something, some value to be had there. Um, but there's also a mindset thing. Um, I really value the kind of challenger um, challenger sales model. Yeah, That's something that procurement should really be embodying. It, it's a deep understanding of what your business objectives are. What's the context of the client, the the internal stakeholder who you're dealing with and showing them something about their business, bringing something to life for them that helps them to see that the world could be different. Yeah, You know, getting getting people excited about the opportunity rather than fearful of the risk on, on the downside. I mean, frankly, it's easiest where the existing supplier is is causing a pain. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we, uh, I, if I think about fleet teams, for instance, the number of times that I go into a fleet team and I hear about downtime and lead time and things not getting back to us and things being off the road and vandalism and, 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 and therefore there is an appetite to hear about what others are doing and how others are solving the problem. Yeah. And if you can package that up in a way that they can see the way across the bridge, there is an opportunity there. And it, it, it's very similar in other categories to kind of take all of the complexity and all of the noise and crystallize a couple of, okay, but these three things we could fix. And here's a couple of ways that we could go about trying to fix them. I love the idea that procurement can bring new insight and information to stakeholders that can get them excited about the potential for the future rather than fearful of the risk and the change. It's a great episode with Ben, so check out the full conversation by using the link in the show notes. Four. I was off-site last week at ProcureCon Indirect East in Orlando for an event packed with great content and, of course, lots of opportunities for network. The opening keynote where Transamerica's CPO Lawrence Kane urged procurement to be creative and solve unmet business needs really set the scene for the event. As always, during coffee breaks, I had my podcasting mic on standby. Let's hear from a few delegates on their takeaways from the three days. I felt like the most beneficial sessions during the conference were in regards to AI and emerging technologies and how they will change the landscape of how procurement is conducted and uh, career paths for procurement practitioners and uh, how the whole industry will be evolving. Um, So one of the takeaways from the conference was that when you engage stakeholders, you should show them the list of things that you can provide them based on when they engage you. So show them a timeline, 
and based on um, the number of weeks or months they engage you before the contract ends, which you're able to provide them based on that time. Oh, that's a great, that's a great one. Right, what about yourself? Okay, yeah, so I think for me, so when we had like the huddles outside, we were able to like talk to different business owners and understand their processes. So when it comes to like um, systems for contracts or like supplier diversity, we were able to see, you know, there's always challenges within those systems. So how can you like, you know, connect the invoices with the POs and just kind of try to figure out the streamline processes and learn more about what other people are Stakeholder engagement and connected processes, front and centre of things, as always. This is Procurement 6 from Art of Procurement. To get notified every time an episode is published, go to artofprocurement.com slash subscribe. Three. I don't think I know many people who don't like chocolate. So if you have a sweet tooth, this week's episode of Dial P for Procurement is going to be a must listen for you. Kelly Barner is going to tell us more about one of the largest chocolate manufacturers in the world, Hershey, with a focus on supply chain and some of the opportunities and challenges the company has faced in recent years. Make sure you listen in for some heartwarming content using the link in the show notes. I was at an Audit and Risk Committee deep dive session last week on the topic of cybersecurity, where supply chain risk was highlighted as an emerging hot topic. Certainly here in the UK, there doesn't seem to be a week that goes by without a data hack or a cyber attack being headline news. It's a risk we have to manage right down the supply chain. Because... As Dan French, one of our great speakers that we've got lined up for you for Mastermind Live, tells us, we're just a few well-tended controls away from serious trouble. So, keeping cybersecurity on our radar sounds like a must-have rather than a good to know. Now, at Digital Outcomes earlier in the year, we were delighted to welcome Joe Peterson, Vice President of Cloud and Security Services at Clarify360, as one of our speakers. And there's some great video and written content on our website to help you brush up on all things cybersecurity. Check out the link in the show notes to find out more. One. Now, We all know procurement's gone through unprecedented change in recent years. Supply chain disruptions, changing workforce dynamics, new technologies, economic uncertainty, the list goes on. So, how can procurement not just survive these changes, but build better, stronger operating models for the future? Join us for our upcoming AOP Live session, where KPMG's Dipan Karumsi and Len Prokopets will discuss results from a recent survey of global procurement leaders on how they're balancing the challenges, goals and priorities in a rapidly changing landscape. Register now by heading on over to artofprocurement.com forward slash calendar. Thanks for listening. We'll be back next Friday at 6am US Eastern Time. If you've enjoyed this pod, help us grow and tell your peers to search for Procurement 6 wherever they get their podcasts.